Welcome to the Jeff Curley Show. On this episode, we're going to be talking about moving. It's a big pain. It's a big hassle. But coming up next, we're going to be talking to the owner of a local moving company who's going to make it a little bit more pain-free. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. I remember when I was young in college and I had to move and I got a U-Haul <laughs> and I moved myself and it almost killed me. And I promised myself I will never do that again. Hiring a pro is important. To talk about that right now, Francie Bell, she's the owner of uh, Fantastic Moves. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me on the show. Appreciate it. Well, before we get into how uh, brisk business is these days, let's talk about your history because you became kind of an accidental owner of this company. You didn't start out uh, wanting to be in the moving industry, right? Right, right. Yeah, my friends were starting the company, and a couple of months into it, they said they needed some office help, so I came in to help out in the office, and that quickly turned into learning to drive the truck and going out and packing the house and eventually having to be on some moves, so I've literally learned it from the ground up. Wow. Well, let's talk about the pandemic, because I, I have to imagine in the early days of the pandemic, business fell off, like nothing was happening. It, it really did. It was it was really quiet in the office in April, and then all of a sudden people realized that I don't own this house anymore. I have to get out. I mean, closing still happened, and you just had to keep moving. And so uh, phones started ringing a little bit more, and business picked up, and then it ended up being a phenomenal summer. Yes. I mean, a lot of that was the mortgage rates were so low, and people kept buying and selling homes. And I, I mean, I keep reading these trends where people are moving out of the city where it's so congested, maybe to the suburbs with a little bit more space. Are you seeing that trend at all? We have seen some of that, and also people could hire us to rearrange things in their house to create their their Zoom room. Yes. So it's uh, it it has kind of shaken up the moving industry in that people are having to move from house to house or move to the lake house or rearrange their house. Outstanding. Well, we found a great video about your company on YouTube, and let's go ahead and roll that now. That's wonderful. Well, tell us more about your company and your philosophy, because I know uh, mo moving is personal to people. I mean, it's their belongings. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm assuming you're ha hiring staff that uh, takes that, you know, uh, as a, a priority. They're not just throwing boxes on a truck. Right, and we're very deliberate in who we hire. I mean, we've been in business now 25 years. The owners, we still go to the office, and so literally when the applicant will comes in the door you know if he's smiling and got his pen you know he's already got to step up to have a good attitude for working but um we don't have a whole i mean we have about seven or eight trucks and a small group of guys that have been with us a long long time we've got movers that have been with us maybe 16 17 years and that's a long time for a guy to be moving furniture but we treat them well and they treat our customers well 
Yeah, and I, I think I've, I saw a truck go by while we yeah. were talking. <laughs> we're being photobombed by your company. Good well, advertising. It's funny. Once people see our <laughs> trucks, they see them all the time everywhere. <laughs> That's right. Well, you are very involved in the community and uh, very charitable. Uh, let's talk about the giving back piece because I know that's important to you. Yeah, there's a lot of organizations that need help with moving items, be it a, an auction item or um, just giving donations back to the community. A lot of our customers are getting new furniture at their new house and they don't know what to do with the old furniture. So we're like, well, we'll just leave it on the truck and take it to one of the various uh, charity centers that we work with. That's outstanding. And you have been recognized by uh, numerous orga organizations. Uh, we're going to put up some of your awards and maybe just kind of walk through like uh, Angie's List. That's a big one. It is a big one, and that's really consumer-driven in terms of um, they're the ones that are posting the reviews, and those are actual customers. Sure. There's another Angie's List. Uh, here's one. Man, you, uh, you are just racking up the awards. And that's well, gotta, we, we try to take care of our customers. <laughs> that's got to feel good. It does. It does. And, and our guys really like it, too, because they're like, well, when are the, the next award season coming out? We need to make sure that we get people to vote or, you know, everybody's got all the trucks clean and wash their shirts. Outstanding. Well, uh, talk to me about the most fun part of the job for you. What do you, what do you enjoy the most? Um, every day is different. And I like the engagement with our employees and also with the customers because people don't that there's always a reason behind why they're moving. They don't just say, I'm sick of this house, I want to move. So I like knowing why they're moving, and the employees care about that reason also. So if we've got a senior citizen move, we send particular movers on that job. If we've got some kids just coming out of the college dorm, we'll send different guys that are really, really fast, and they'll just knock it out. So you know, we try to tailor every job for every customer. And i got to believe that some of the items are tricky. Like moving a, a piano is not easy, is it? It's not easy, and I said I was on the truck. I was in the old days, but now the furniture's just too big and too heavy. I'm like, oh my gosh, who makes these armoires? But uh, <laughs> our guys are creative. Um, they're really good with the physics of looking at a stairwell and knowing how to fit a piece of furniture over. And there have been occasions where they'll run down and find a guy with a cherry picker and wrap the furniture and lift it up to the third floor and take it over the railing. So No kidding. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. What's the weirdest thing you've ever been asked to move? One of the most uh, challenging ones, but it was a lot of fun. First, our guys said they weren't going to do it, but there was a uh, armoire that was too big to fit in the elevator, and the customer at the top floor of the high rise said they wanted it up there. So we got everybody involved in the elevator company, and you lowered the elevator down, you put it on top of the elevator, and you go all the way inside the elevator shaft. Oh my goodness! And then take it out. And at first, the guys were like, "I'm not going to get in there and do that." And, of course, by the time they were done, they were like, look at what we did. This was <laughs> awesome. Man, that's dedication. Uh, well, we're almost out of time for this segment, so I want to give you a chance to give kind of final words and thoughts. Uh, when people are choosing a moving company, uh, obviously with all of your awards, uh, it speaks volumes. I mean, you can't just hire some guy off a of Craigslist and, um, and know that you're going to be okay, right? Right. Um, I, I would think the reason people should make sure that they find a good moving company is, I mean, we've got an office. We're here in Dallas. You can find us if you need any questions or have any questions. We hire our guys. They work for us all full time. We're not just sending a stranger out in there to your house. And most of our clientele appreciates that. Yeah. Well, you have been an amazing guest. Thank you for everything that you do in Thank the community you. and especially for giving back. We're going to end with your website so everybody can get in touch. Uh, Francie Bell. And the website is fantasticmoves.com. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff. You bet. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.